Good morning, FGC. What's going on, man? It's Red K. Uh, hanging out with you guys on today, man. We're going to talk about Street Fighter VI. Uh, it got announced. The teaser trailer's out there. Everybody hates the logo. We get it, but it got me thinking, man. You know, I always say things like, you know, I, I'm hyped for a Street Fighter, and the Street Fighter comes out, and then I'm not hyped, but then my character comes out, and I'm hyped again, and, you know, i kind of been putting Street Fighter by the wayside uh, ever since... Um, before Luke came out, actually, Luke actually got me back into the game playing again. But the netcode is just—it's Street Fighter netcode. What, what are you? What are you gonna do, right? So, um, you know, really thinking and really hoping about Street Fighter Six. I put together a wish list of things that could possibly be in Street Fighter Six that I think will make the game better. <laughs> Number ten thing for me personally, I don't want any kind of focus dash cancel. No kind of Roman canceling. Uh, 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 well, maybe if it's Roma canceling, but no kind of focus dash, uh, a red FADC, none of that. If you guys don't know, if you're not a, a 09 er I guess it is, uh, you don't remember uh, Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4 had this uh, technique called the focus dash cancel, as you can see right here. Uh, you would press a button, or you would uh, press three buttons as it was, and you would hold it like a calligraphy link attack, and then you would make that. Ryu's gonna do it right now. So that was. That was the, the, the dash, and that, that was great because it absorbed that attack. But more so than that, you can press it, then you could dash forward. It would make some moves safe. It wasn't a bad mechanic, but it's been done better, i.e. Roman canceling. And uh, it, it was, it was a, like it made you, it was a bar for me to get to higher damage. Like if you wanted to get to higher damage in Street Fighter 4, you had to know how to focus dash cancel. You had to know how to uh, red dash cancel. Or you really couldn't play the game effectively and uh, it left a lot of players behind and uh, like I said if you guys play Guilty Gear uh, Roman canceling it's basically the same idea it's just done better so for me personally uh, leave the FADC out of it I don't want it I don't I don't want it give it give it to Ryu I don't give it to somebody I don't I don't want it I don't want it nah. all right number nine thing on my wish list to bring back I actually want to bring back V triggers V skills, I think they're awesome. I guess they wouldn't be V triggers, they'd be VI skills or whatever the case is. But I think it was a really great addition to the game that gave every character a little bit more like pizzazz. It made like two characters in one, you know what I'm saying? So like we're seeing right here, uh, you know, this is um, Ryu's v, v skill where he's got the uh, uh, the parry or whatever the case is like that. It gave, it gave like you the classic Ryu and gave you some cool stuff. And then the V-Trigger activation, you know, basically made you a superhero. I like that. I like the comeback mechanic in the game, even though I feel it was a little bit too strong in Street Fighter V. But, you know, if you got to really, like, really optimize your character and really, like, because, like, okay, uh, reuse V skills very useful, but you have a lot of V skills in the game that are just not useful at all. So if you could bring V skills back, V-Triggers back, um, just, you know, maybe a little bit more thought to go into the actual uh, uh, V skills. Cause, like, you know Nash's V skill. He takes. Uh, he can. He can. He can take your, your your fireball away and 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 use it to buff his meter and everything like that was cool. But then you got stuff like Ken, like the run, like the run's cool, but the the the, the half circle saw kick is is not. It's like why why why'd you even do that? It's, so anyways, V triggers, V skills back in the game. Um, and if you're not gonna do that, then you know give us an extra super or something like that. You know, but. Uh, we really like V triggers or I guess VI triggers back in Street Fighter 6. Alright, so number eight, uh, something that I would like for them to put into V Street Fighter 6 is more DVs of options, alright? So Street Fighter uh, 5, it was just a rushdown game, man. Not a lot of V, uh, not a lot of defensive options. Of course, we had uh, V, uh, uh, we had the uh, third strike cancels. We have V shifts and everything like that. Those were all good starting points. I wish they could have been in the game from the beginning so we could get more comfortable in using those tactics. But um, defensive options in games are like the best. I mean, like you got uh, 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 KOF has the point where you can um, roll. They have their, uh, you can uh, go past it and you can like do a roll. Uh, um, um, the Roman cancels and the, um, um, it's basically kind of like a V shift. And um, <clears throat> Guilty Gear Strive, they're up there. So anything you can do to make the um, defense, I mean, you don't want to make the defense options too strong in the game, but you want somebody to have a chance. Even the like um, V reversals in the game, like some V reversals are way superior to other people's V reversals. Like you have a V reversal 
that can like knock the character across the street. You have another view reversal that leaves the person in your face and you're negative. Like it's it's like the view reversal system I think is trash, kind of in Street Fighter. Um, but more options like the V-Shift and things like that would definitely make Street Fighter 6 a very competitive game. All right, number seven thing that I would like in the game is damaging normals. Like Street Fighter 5, it's like you, ha you had to be able to convert your normals into supers to really do big damage. Uh, you know, a game like um, uh, 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 um, Guilty Gear Strive is showing us that, you know, you don't have to do really big damaging combos. I mean, you can and, you know, swag on them and everything like that. But, like, if you have big normals that can convert into, like, counters and things like that, you can actually do damage and it's better for the game, I feel like. Because some people's normals, I mean, like, you know, being plus frames in Street Fighter is always a big thing. I don't want to change that part of it, but like, like, okay, Gal's a perfect example. Like, you can do a back fist from Gal, right? And damn near take a third of somebody's life bar. Or you get somebody like, uh, uh, I don't know, like a, like a Kuma, not a crush kind of like a regular hit or a target combo, you'd get less damage. I mean, I think the damage system has to be scaled up a little bit. I think we should be able to do more damage instead of less damage in the game. I mean, it makes the rounds go by quicker. And uh, it makes you, if you have better defensive options, you shouldn't get hit by those. So in my opinion, I want to make normal command buttons a little bit more damaging in the game. So my number six request is that the game be visually better. <laughs> like, you know, uh, you can see we get using the RE engine. This is the uh, trailer right here. Um, I just want to make it like, you know, uh, not look like when Street Fighter 5 came out, of course, it looks better now. They've done a lot of work on it. But when Street Fighter 5 came out, it was like, okay, this is Street Fighter 5, but it looks just like Street Fighter 4. What's the difference to the casual gamer? I have no reason to actually like play it. But as you can see by the trailer, if the trailer is anything to go off of, uh, Street Fighter 6 is like, at least visually, it will look like a next generation game. Because like, Street Fighter is actually at the low end. Uh, I would say of the fighting games, I, I would say that um, uh, right now you would have um, Str uh, Strive would be at the top, um, followed by KOF, which had a great launch. I mean, uh, even Tekken has more concurrent plays, I believe, in Street Fighter. Like, Street Fighter's got a lot of like, like, Street Fighter was for a while, it was like the FGC couldn't survive without Street Fighter. And now it's like, it's the, it's the little kid in the, in the corner. It's, it's, it, you know, it's there, but it's got a lot to prove is uh, Rollback Netcode, man. I mean, you've already got uh, the uh, the new um, fighting game collection that you got that you say is going to have Rollback Netcode. So I'm thinking this is gonna be the proving ground for the uh, new GGPO, hopefully, Rollback Internet, and not none of that Capcom, we made it in Japan, but it's fake GGPO. Listen, if this Rollback is whack, then we know that Street Fighter Six Netcode is gonna be whack, because this is definitely the proven ground for all these games right here. So basically, if you want to have any chance in selling anything uh, in 2022, uh, the FGC community, no rollback, no buy. It, it's it's look at Grand Blue, look at Grand Blue, the 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 a great game, but the fact we can't play it online made the numbers go in the tank. So you need to follow what uh, uh, Arxis has been doing, follow what uh, KOF has been doing, man, and uh, get that rollback going, man. Because if not. There won't be any Street Fighter 6 on this channel. Ah, uh, that's that's sad to say, right? There's been a lot of rumblings that uh, PlayStation has their hand in the development of Street Fighter 6, just like they had Street Fighter 5. Um, but hopefully, at least for the trailer, it looks like there's a lot more money behind Street Fighter 6, and I'm hoping that's the case because I want this to be multi-platform, um, not because I want Xbox to have it or, or, or the Wii to have it or anything like that, or, or even that I'm advocating for the PC. It's just that when the game is on multiple platforms and it's cross-play, you can play everywhere. And in, and in fighting games, I mean, there's not really a big advantage to playing on PC uh, versus playing on a, a, a console. Much like a shooter you would have, you actually have tactical advantages uh, from playing on PC to playing on console. But, um, yo, uh, Street Fighter 6 needs to be multi-platform and cross-play. I mean, that'll make the biggest... A uh, 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 community of people playing the game. And just think about it, you guys. You'll have like Xbox guys, don't like PC guys, don't like PlayStation guys. It'll be its own clans of people fighting, and I think the game uh, would benefit from that. 
Wish list number three, a online training mode. Uh, KOF has this, uh, Guilty Gear has this, implemented this, and uh, it's just really dope that you can have somebody who doesn't like your, like say your friend can't come to your house, whatever the case is, but you wanna train with them online. Instead of just running matches and everything, like you can actually get into training mode with your guy and or, or your girl, whatever the case is, or your friend, and actually go online. And actually, um, this will be dope for pro players too. Pro players that want to uh, have training sessions, like um, you want to get good at the game, you pay, you know, um, I don't know what, what, uh, Sonic Fox a fee, and he goes and trains him with you for an hour. It's really dope. Um, and uh, so, uh, my reason number two. I mean, of course, they have this in KOF. You're looking at it right now, online training mode. Uh, uh, number two is taken from another game, not KOF, but Guilty Gear Strive. This is me in Shadow Shell 88, uh, the first day that biking came out. And what we're doing is uh, the combo recipe mode. So in uh, Guilty Gear Strive, uh, you, have, you can put your combos online for other people to do them, or you can put uh, what they call like a, um, um, a set play combo which would have the computer do something and you react to it. So it's how you react and set play. So it's not necessarily a combo, but it's more like something you do in match. You really get to learn how to play the game. And I've been playing this uh, set play and these combo recipes, and it has really upped my game and goes to get strive uh, higher than it already was. And it's just, it's addictive. It's, it's the community coming together um, to show the community how to play the game instead of just having the trials that um, Street Fighter always has and um, this is really big. This is that's why it's so high up on my list It's number two on my list right now because I'm enjoying it so much on Guilty Gear It's basically revitalized the game for me because there's just so many Creative people that are putting their set play and their combo recipes out there that it's really making the game for me personally So if Street Fighter could implement this along with the GGPO along with the online training I know it sounds like a lot but Capcom I'm believing in you Street Fighter 6 you really got to if Street Fighter 6 doesn't do well, I don't think it's going to be a Street Fighter 7. So I'm really needing you guys to really learn from everybody else and really put it in there, all right? All right, and uh, number one on my wish list for Capcom and Street Fighter 6, just to launch a complete game, man. Just launch a game that's, that's ready to play, um, a game that has a story mode, a game that has online functionality, a game that has all the bells and whistles, um, uh, multiplayer and single player immediately because I mean you know from not having the full game on a disc to releasing an unfinished product that is the legacy right now of Street Fighter 5 I mean I love the game I don't love the net code but uh, that is the legacy that you left behind and you know casual players who aren't like me they're gonna buy all the DLC six years down the line if they see that the game is a half finished game when it first comes out they're not gonna buy it so the number one thing they could do to, to, to really make Street Fighter Six a success is have a complete package right at the launch of the game. Um, so uh, that's my wish list of things I do and don't want. Uh, what do you think of it? What do you want in Street Fighter Six? Let me know down in the comments. It's Red K, uh, Wally Mom Gaming. Good morning, FGC. I'm out. Peace.